For years, I thought of the IWC pilot family as one big family. And it's only recently that I've learned that there are four distinct collections that sit within the IWC pilot family. They are the classic collection, which really harkens back to the first IWC pilot watches from 1936 and on. They include models like the Big Pilot, the Mark 11, the Mark 18, the Mark 12, classic pilot watches, steel cases, black dials usually. Distinct and clear. Number two, we have the Saint Exupery collection. Now these are blue and brown dial models within the collections. So I, to cut to the chase, I landed on this model, the blue dialed La Petite Prince which is within that St. Exupery collection. We also have the Top Gun collection, which is where IWC really flexes its muscle with new materials, new innovations, uh, complications. And we will see this year also a very simple black ceramic automatic model, which is quite a change from the usual Top Gun style. Lastly, this guy here, the Spitfire collection. Now, the Spitfire models have appeared through the years with silver dials and grey dials, but they've been within other collections. However, in 2019, they achieved their own standalone status and we see some very big changes here. We see all in-house movements in all Spitfire models. We see new case materials, bronze in particular, and new colourways. We see olive dials instead of that silver and grey. So there's a lot to explore in the Spitfire collection. And by the end of this entire video, I guarantee you one thing, you'll kind of know where you stand. I know where I landed and where you will is up to you. The classic collection of pilot watches within the IWC pilots family really harkens back to the very first IWC pilots watches from 1936 when the special watch for pilots was released. Now this watch was special in a few ways. It had a soft iron in a case that meant that it was not interfered with by the plane's radar. Now, let's go through what we have here. This big boy, how could you miss this? The Big Pilot was first released in 1940 and it was adapted from, any guesses? A pocket watch movement. Now you can really see that the crown position and the size of this watch would have easily fitted in a gentleman's pocket on a chain. Some characteristics to look out for in the Big Pilot are the, the supreme legibility. Now this is a watch that uh, you can read the time from anywhere. And a fun fact about the Big Pilot is that uh, musician John Mayer actually uses it as a bedside clock when he's on tour. It is that clear, the loom is that bright at night, and uh, it sits up quite nicely, as you can see. And of course, the other big giveaway of this watch and the, the really big detail to look out for is that huge conical crown. Now, aside from being highly faceted and looking really quite pretty as it glimmers in the light. It's also very functional when you're wearing big mitts in the plane. So this is something that you can uh, easily manipulate even if you're wearing gloves. The second watch we're looking at here is the Mark 18. Now this is a continuation of pilot watches that started and peaked probably with the Mark 11 in 1948 and continue now to this, this model. Really, it has classic pilot styling absolutely simple and unimprovable and uh, really pretty. Now the other characteristic to look out for from the classic collection is steel cases and black dials. Okay, the Saint Exupery collection within the IWC Pilots family is very easily identifiable. These are pilot watches with either a brown dial, which reflects the Saint Exupery foundation, or a lush blue dial like this big pilot here, which is uh, from La Petite Prince. Now, of course, Saint Antoine d'Exupery is a novelist and he wrote one of the most read books of all time, La Petite Prince. Now, this foundation was started in 2005 and its objective is to help young people build their futures. There have been, for example, schooling projects in Brazil, Thailand and Cambodia. And a percentage of every one of the sale of these watches goes to the Saint Exupery Foundation. From an aesthetic point of view, these watches really stand out because as you would know, the pilot family at large really harkens back to those traditional pilot watch standards like uh, black dials and matte finishes and a stealthy aesthetic, whereas these are really quite dressy and lush and flamboyant, which is a nice change from the other collections. 
Now the watch in the 2019 Top Gun collection that most speaks to the Top Gun kind of ethos is the Top Gun Serotanium double chronograph. What is Serotanium? This is so Top Gun. It's a new alloy of ceramic and titanium that is as scratch proof as ceramic, but has a little bit more heft than a standard ceramic watch. What else to look out for here is that real tactical colorway of gray indices and hands on this really stealthy matte black case. And the second watch in the middle here is the Top Gun Chronograph in ceramic. Now you might notice, very keen eyes if you have them, that it's slightly larger than the Serotanium Double Chronograph. This is 44 millimeters and this one's 44 and a half and of course has those more striking uh, markers and also hands. There's a red second hand on the minute counter at six. Lastly, we have the Top Gun Automatic. Now this really stands out from the Top Gun collection because it is a simple time-only automatic watch as opposed to the usually uh, complicated models. Now this model is also in ceramic and comes on a NATO style strap. So it's quite stealthy, but also quite simple and classic. Okay, what a feast. This is the 2019 Spitfire collection. Until 2019, the Spitfire has been a model with either a silver or a gray dial that's occurred through different collections. However, in 2019, this collection is now standalone. What's different, what's new? I'm glad you asked, there's a lot to talk about. We have new case materials, we have new movements, and we have a new look. Uh, instead of just silver or gray dials, we have over here, brown calf straps, bronze, in a particular IWC alloy that's quite dark. So usually bronze starts at a bright gold type of appearance, whereas this is a darker alloy that probably reflects more what it's going to look like over time, as opposed to radically aging and, and gaining patina. And also we have olive green dials. All of this, yes, it's a very military look, but it's also apparently reflective of the color scheme within a Spitfire. So there's been quite a bit of thought put into that. Over here we have steel cases with khaki fabric straps with calf leather underlay. Now, the other big news, the main news I would say for you, is that while many of IWC's pilot watches over the years have had Ebosch movements, every single movement here is an IWC in-house movement. So to the automatic models, this one and this one, we have the Calibre 32, and in the chronograph models, this one and this one, we have the Calibre 69, two IWC proprietary movements. The two watches we're going to single out, the first is likely to be the most popular Spitfire, and that is the 41 millimeter chronograph. Now this is quite a small size chronograph for IWC, uh, and it really has a lot of those vi vintage military uh, attributes. We have a faux patina on the hands and indices. And the second one we're focusing on is the bronze perpetual calendar. Now this perpetual calendar is only available in bronze. There's not a steel equivalent. And my goodness, what a large and lovely watch. 46.5 millimeters. So not for the faint of wrist and limited to 250 pieces. The Spitfire collection has certainly introduced itself with a vengeance. We will be hearing much more from this collection over the years. 